So what does it look like when we're using the FNL diamond? Let's take a look at some price action. This happens to be an uptrend. We have that green EMA. We also have the price action that we look for to confirm it. We have a higher high, a higher low. We have a pullback. It's a great pullback. This would be our entry point. Now, this is the diamond, right? I'll circle the diamonds just, just so we are all looking at the same thing. We're going to be using a 4-3 risk management. So that means we'll count down three, one, two, three. That gives us a clear stop. One, two, three, four. The price has to come back to this point in order for it to fill. So let's advance this uh, candlestick by candlestick to see, okay, it only took three candlesticks. It's 15 minutes for, for it to hit that point and that filled. Now, just in the interest of time, because we don't wanna go through this one candlestick at a time, let me advance this uh, a few more hours and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at a couple more. So I'll, I'll go ahead and circle uh, the, the green diamonds. We just did this one, sorry. Yeah, we just did this one. And again, I'll, I'll just quickly, you'll, you'll see this a lot. In fact, you'll do this on your own charts because it will help you recognize uh, what the trend is, what the price action is doing, what your retracements are. So we had another great pullback. This would be our entry point right there. One, two, three, that gives us a good, a good uh, clean stop. One, two, three, four, it would, it would fill right there. Uh, move up, pull back. This would be our entry right there. One, two, three, gives us a clean stop. One, two, three, four, it hits right there. So we had another fill. Now let's say that you're not limiting yourself to trading during US hours. 9.30 is when the US stock market opens, but we aren't limited to uh, US hours, we trade 23 hours a day. So let's say that you're on the East Coast and you get up early, or maybe you're just an early bird on the West Coast and you get up early and you wanna look at price action prior to this point. Let's see what happens when we circle these green diamonds. Same process, it is a simple process of evaluation. Price actions come back, here's our entry, one, two, three. I'll just tell you right now, all of these stops are clear at three points. One, two, three, four, that fills. Same price action up, price action back. Now our, our entry would be right here. One, two, three, four. Depending on when you actually get into this, uh, it may have filled, but it's really close. So let's pretend that it didn't. Let's pretend that it took until this point to fill. We only get in one trade at a time. So when you're a brand new trader, you're not limited to that ultimately, but let's just say we don't count this one, even though it would have filled and let's keep going. So looking for that same price action, higher highs, higher lows. Here's another green uh, diamond. This is a longer candlestick, all right? This would be our entry and we would have a muddy stop here. But if we got in that trade anyway, look what happens. One, two, three, four, it fills right there. So let's let's do a quick review. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven diamonds. Uh, and if we start doing the math on this, what we're seeing is that we have seven diamonds. We only took six of them. So let's say we took six trades. We're using the four, three management. Uh, let's do the math. Six trades times four points, that's 24 points. Uh, at $50 a point, this would be on the ES, that's 24 times 50, that's $1,200. You just had a $1,200 day. Now, is this typical? Do we do this every day? Is this normal? No, no, it's not normal. We cherry pick today because it does illustrate the way the diamonds work. But it also illustrates that when you're patient and you wait for the price action to come to you, you follow the rules, you just had a $1,200 day. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that you can also make money when the market's going down, short, south, uh, bearish, whatever you wanna call it. We have this nice uh, blue trend line. Now, this is only a couple of days prior to uh, the day that we just looked at. We've had a, an EMA crossover. It's gone from green to blue right there. And I wanna draw your attention to one other thing before we really kind of get into this. Down here in the lower right-hand corner, we have what's called an ATR, average true range. What that means is each 
of the candlesticks is about five points. That's an average of the last two candlesticks. A three point stop isn't gonna work very well if your candlesticks are all five points and it's sometimes greater. So we're gonna shift our risk management from four, three to a seven, five. So once again, let's just circle. Again, I'm showing you the whole day just because it's a little easier and you, you get it. Uh, let's go ahead and circle one, two, three, four, five of the diamonds. They're blue. You'll notice the others are green. These are blue. It just helps to, to know that you're looking for downward movement. And we're looking for the same things, all right? We're looking for, in this case, lower lows and lower highs. So we have that nice pullback, everything just upside down. This would be our entry. If we count up five, one, two, three, four, five, that gives us a great stop, clear stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we would fill right at that point. Now, again, to save a little bit of time, I'm not gonna count all of the, uh, all the fills. Um, you can always check my math and, and tell me if I'm doing it right or not. But uh, same pattern, we've got this great pullback. Now, this is a longer candlestick right here. So we would use what's called a limit order, cut that in about half, get in right there. That would give us one, two, three, four, five, a clear stop. And we have plenty of room to fill our seven. Uh, another good pullback, that's a deep pullback, but it's a good one. Another longer candlestick. So once again, we'd get in right about at the halfway point of that candlestick with a limit order. One, two, three, four, five, still gives us a clear stop. And we have plenty of room right there to fill that seven points. Again, pullback, you'll get really used to this. Great retracement. Uh, now this one doesn't need a limit order because our entry, which again is right here, one, two, three, four, five, gives us a great, uh, a great stop, very clear stop. And again, plenty of room to fill. Pull back. Now this doesn't look like it's a long candlestick, but it is because of that wick right there. So once again, we would cut it in about half, count up five, one, two, three, four, five, gives us a clear stop and plenty of room to fill. So once again, let's do the math on this. Now remember we're using a, a seven five risk management. This, this larger average size candle, candlestick is what supports us or drives us to shift our risk management. So we're, we're looking at five trades, five diamonds, five trades, seven to five risk management. So here's the math, five times seven, 35. We're still at $50 a point on the ES. So 35 times 50, that's $1,750. Now, once again, do we do this every day? Is that what we're saying? No, that is not what we're saying. We cherry pick today. Why? Because it illustrates, once again, how this works. But it also illustrates if you're patient, if you wait for the price action to come to you, if you follow the rules that you'll establish for, for yourself, you just had a $1,750 day. It's a good day.